Okay, now what about spirits who attach themselves to people, places, or things, right? Isn't that the same, Sarah B? You just said that lower energy vibrations um, can attach to people. Yes, they did. But um, now we're talking about spirits, right? Uh, what's the difference? Okay. I kind of categorize these things like this. So when I'm working with spirit, I'm working with high vibration energies, my guides, my angels, okay? These are those beings that are truly from the light. They are here to assist me. They have my best interests at heart. They are not looking to harm me or to take anything from me. Um, they are here to help me, right? And um, that help is good for me, and it's also good for those around me, um, for the highest good of myself and the highest good of all, right? Kind of that idea. Um, ghosts are those that uh, are often stuck in their environment. They're stuck in their location. Um, they are haunting a place, right? Um, they are often in need uh, of crossing over or they want something um, and, and they are not yet in the light. They don't have the ability to cross back and forth from the light. So if you're familiar with Tinker Swiss Cottage, um, the Tinker family and a lot of the door family still exist in the co cottage. And we've talked to them, we, we, we use the word spirit and ghost pretty much synonymously, right? as if they're interchangeable. And in some ways they kind of are. But what sets the Tinker family apart is that they have fully crossed over and they just choose to come back. They're not stuck in the environment. They're not stuck at Tinker Swiss Cottage. And we have plenty of evidence that suggests that um, they're frequently out and about doing other things. They go to other locations here in town. Um, they often take trips that they would have taken in their lifetime. So they're not always in the cottage. A ghost is one of those in those haunted places, maybe like Waverly, right? You think of Waverly Hills and the building is very haunted because you've got a lot of folks who crossed over in untimely deaths that weren't necessarily ready. Um, they were unprepared in, in many circumstances. Uh, and so uh, they haunt these locations. They can't leave these locations, right? Um, for whatever reason. That being said, <laughs> Why do they stay there, right? Why don't they just go to the light? Um, there could be any number of reasons why a human spirit doesn't go into the light, right? A lot of times what I find is that um, religion plays a big role. They're absolutely terrified of judgment and damnation and so on and so forth. So that will keep them stuck and they won't cross over. It can be that they're not aware that they're deceased, so they stay in the last place um, that they are familiar with, or maybe they attach to someone that they are familiar with because they don't know that they're deceased. They're not necessarily that low vibration energy of an attachment um, that we were talking about in the last segment, but they, um, they don't really know how to move on. And so they just hang out with who they're used to because they don't know where else to go. Um, or they attach to an object. And the object portion is a little bit more strange, I think. I have a theory that um, ghosts may attach to an object uh, maybe because they felt that um, it wasn't going to go anywhere. What do you mean? Okay, so think about a Victrola, right? No one knew what radio would look like in the future because it was so new when they came up with a Victrola. So perhaps you've got an energy that attached to the Victrola because they couldn't fathom what would ever replace this, right? So they, they stick around with that. They think, well, I want to be in my house. I want to be with my family. They're never going to get rid of this Victrola because what is ever going to replace it? I'm going to attach to this and then um, I'll just always be in the house. Or maybe I attach to a hairbrush because if they ever leave, I want them to take the hairbrush with them and maybe they'll also take me, right? Or they just really want to be in that house. Um, they are attached to it because they're the, the lady or the lord of the manor, if you will. And this is them continuing business on the other side. They don't want to cross over. Any one of these things could possibly be true. 